Heroes and heroines of all ages, when the world tells you to get a life, you're always welcome at the 1-Up Block. My name is Dan, the man, your host, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda for the Nintendo Nintendo... Uh, the Lin... Uh, okay, I can't talk. The Nintendo Entertainment System. Can I speak? Okay. So, when we last left off, we got our new sword. I think it's called the Magic... I don't want to say it's the Magic Sword. The, it's not the Master Sword, because that doesn't come into play yet. That's not a part of the story as of now. Um... But we got that, and we got a bunch of heart containers. So that's about the gist of what we did last time. We also got a bunch of money, which I have not gotten to use yet. I'm gonna use it soon, though. Oh, you took away my... Oh, no, I got it back. Never mind. Uh, let's see. If I'm correct, I believe we need to... I don't need any more bombs right now. You can carry more bombs, but that's not something we can do right now. You want to come up to, the, uh, to Lake Helia right here and just follow this little line... Uh, mind you, at this point you need 255 rupees, so if you don't have that, go get that before continuing. Pause the video. I'll wait for you. <laughs> Look, I'll wait. Alright, welcome back. So touch this guy here, and he's gonna move and reveal a secret for us. And inside, we'll find this guy. Boy, this is really expensive. So yes, here's where we can buy... I think this is the only place you can actually buy this. It's the blue ring. So pick that up, and of course all your money is going to go bye-bye, unfortunately, but you know, that's a side effect of this. Now you'll notice we're wearing a blue, uh, well, I guess it's kind of the blue tunic, but it's actually white uh, as far as the sprite goes. We actually take a third less damage, I believe. Uh, so yeah, that's nice. That'll make your adventure a lot less hectic. Um, we could get some more money, and actually I think I'm just going to do that. Um. There's another spot we could have got money, but you uh, can only hold the max. You can only hold the I, a max. Hold on, I'm scooting up. I gotta be as close to my microphone as possible so you could you pick up everything. But um, the max amount of rupees you can have is 255, I believe, and anything past that just goes to waste. So I wanted to get rid of that money as fast as possible. Uh, there's only a couple more things we actually need to like put money into before we don't need to use money anymore. Uh, there's a couple of things that money's going to be used for, like in dungeons, but we, we'll be able to just collect money freely at that point, so it doesn't matter. Uh, what we're going to want to do is go back up here to the top right, get rid of these guys because they suck. You gotta, you're going to want to go back up to the mountainous region. Uh, I guess there's something else we can do, too. Uh, there's an item we can pick up that's really not super necessary, but uh, I guess it is necessary. Kind of, because it lets you get a red potion. So yeah, we kind of need to do this, so let's get it out of the way before I actually go about starting the journey. Unfortunately, these two episodes are probably going to be nothing but us prepping for the actual game. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, I guess technically this is the cheap way out of uh, doing the game, but like, honestly, the first couple of dungeons would be harder without this uh, white tunic on, but it's not even... Or, well, the white tunic and the white sword, but, like, technically, it's really not even that much harder if you know what you're doing, which I do. So, I really don't see the problem with, uh, getting the, the upgrades before you actually start the game. It just saves time in the end. Ugh. Not exactly, because <laughs> there's a lot of stuff you actually have to go out of your way to do. Show this to the old woman. Alright, so now we have this. If we ever find an old woman in a cave, we show her this letter. And she'll allow us to buy stuff if we need it. Which we don't right now, arguably. But, you know, it's there if we need it. Over here you'll find this tree, but that's not actually what we're here for. If you hold up on this wall, you'll actually be able to find a secret. Looks like a dungeon, but it's not. It's a secret to everybody. That's our last hundred rupee of the game. Unfortunately, but you know, those hundred rupees are actually going to go to something really important. So I'm not complaining, really. Nah, get out of the way. We're gonna wanna... Ah, oh, bitch. He actually hit me. We're gonna wanna go back to that guy who sold us the blue ring so we can, uh... Actually, you know what? We don't actually need to do that yet. We need to go and find... Oh, I know where we need to go. We need to go back to Lake Helia. Get out of here. You sons of bitches. With this white tunic, we'll, I, we'll take a crap ton less damage, so that's super nice. It makes walking the overworld a lot less annoying. It's going to make a lot of boss fights less annoying. 
of course until we get to the point where the white tunic isn't really that effective anymore when we're fighting harder enemies but up until that point we're gonna be a-okay I think we can no we can't follow this we can't follow this we have to go back around this way um there's a couple of more you know what I think is there one around here I believe so I think we can actually ah how take out our we already have it out son of a bitch I'm bad at this um no, it's not here. It's actually on the... This is not Lake Helia. I'm an idiot. Use your map, Dan. Come on. Seriously. Okay, uh, I believe there's actually a secret over here, too. If I'm not mistaken, but I'm not worried about that. Ah! There's a bunch of secrets that'll actually take money away from you, so be warned about that. That does suck. Um... I think we need to go over here. Get out of here. Come here. Ow! You're the last Dr. Rock on this screen. I will not let you live. Okay, so if we come over here and burn this, I think that's the secret. Yep, that's the secret. It's a secret to everybody. Yeah, we know. That'll give us 30 rupees. That's a nice chunk. Get out of here. Kick the lever's butts really easy now. Ah, you son of a bitch. Zoras respawn even if you kill them. I don't know if I mentioned that either, but they're kind of a stupid enemy. Uh, killing them, though, will give you hearts more often than not, so if you're about to die and you have the beams, well, I guess the only way to kill them is, well, no, there, I think there's another item you can use to kill them, but, you know, I'm getting way ahead of myself. Die. Die. Eh, you suck. Okay, but, are we on the other side of Lake Kilia yet? Yes, we are. Okay, good. So now we can go back over here and follow this. Oh boy, preparations are fun, aren't they? We need to get back to the guy who sold me this awesome ring and gave me the white tunic, which is actually blue. It's not white, you stupid... Well, I guess this is the first game in the series, so I guess that makes this one right. Uh, I was actually wrong, wasn't I? I didn't need to... I'll just grab this right now. This is actually kind of useful. Um, What it does is it if you place it it draws certain enemies to it it's basically monster bait I think that's what it's actually called uh, you can use it to bait enemies into a pile and makes it easier for the you to kill them but I don't think it works on every boss ow so you know don't get your hopes up for that or not boss uh, enemy my bad <clears throat> can't talk I'm terrible All right, so back on Lake Helia we actually need to come back around gotta get Zora Nope, I'm done. Not even gonna attempt it. You're too fast for me. Too spooky for me. Alright, here on Lake Helia, where do we need to be? I think it's up here. Yeah, it's right here. Okay, so we need... I already have it out! Son of a bitch! Okay. I want to say it's this one. No, I was incorrect. Let's see how many tries it takes Dan the Man to find this one bush. Is it one of these two? No. Okay. Is it gonna be the one on the freaking end? Oh my god, it was. God dang it. Boy, this is really expensive. So, we don't have enough money for it yet, but we need that shield. So what I'm gonna do is go kill these guys, and hopefully they'll drop me some... Oh, hey, thank you. Ooh, thank you. Come on, give me a fiver. Son of a bitch. Oh, come on. What are we at? We're at... Nine minutes, we got time. Sorry, I was running into a wall there. Rupees? Rupees? You best give me a rupee. Oh, you bastard. Come on. I guess I should have done this off screen too. Make sure I got the money. This is an unexpected turn. I couldn't do anything about this. I'm sorry. Oh, I don't need hearts. I need money. That's what I want. Money. Oh, lots of money. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on die rupees okay that's okay, 89 can't count apparently god dang oh wait there's jumping guys over here give me money money rubies thank you thank you oh oh thank you so much now we just need to go over there and get that freaking shield i'll meet you guys over there All right, and we're here. 
Fantastic. Boy, this is really expensive. Yeah, you're telling me. Son of a bitch. Taking all my money. All my hard-earned cash. But alright, with that, we can actually start heading towards the first dungeon, which is actually over here. <laughs> I was going the wrong way. So, with this big shield, as you can tell, it's huge. It still also has a cross on it, so it looks like a... Well, this one doesn't look like a giant Bible. This one actually looks like a giant shield. But, uh, you know, aside from that... Ow! Oh, where's all this money when I needed it earlier? Okay, but here's a bridge. This bridge is kind of different from everything we've seen in the game thus far, so it's kind of telling you to go this way, and what do you know? It's a tree trunk with a mouth in it. This is actually uh, theorized to be the Great Deku's tree, or the, the Great De the Great Deku's tree? I didn't know the Great Deku tree was a, a slave owner. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is like the Great Deku tree if he died and we didn't save him in Ocarina of Time. So that's kind of cool. I like that. I like theories like that. It might actually be a fact. I'm not actually sure. But uh, this dungeon isn't too hard. All we really have to do, uh, make sure you kill every enemy in a, in a room if it's your first time through to make sure you're getting everything you need. Um, there's a couple of secrets throughout the dungeons, but the first couple I don't believe have anything too significant in them, aside from a couple of weapons that you actually need to get. I'm gonna kill these guys just for the money. And the heart, I guess. The heart's nice too. Thank you. Get, get me. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme, gimme. Gimme all that cash. Cash money and link on the boss. Um, I think we have, actually have enough time to clear this dungeon, so... Yeah, cool, we're gonna get a dungeon in this game, this episode. Hey! I mean, we're already in the dungeon. <laughs> it's not like I can back out now. Come on. Come on. Come on, you, you, you duty heads. This is actually made really easy with this sword, so... I mean, say what you want. It, it's not hard to begin with, really, if you know how to play the game, which I have beaten the game, so it's not anything different to me. Um, but the tunic and the, sh the sword will make things easier. So if you want a challenge, don't pick them up. That's really all I have to say about that, I suppose. Hey, come here, you stupid bats. Bits, bits. Come here. Gotcha. Alright, we can use our key on this. Uh, we got the compass, and that flashing light over there is actually where the boss is. So, you know, if, you, if you're heading over there, you know you're going in the right direction. I think we need to yeah, push that up. And we're going to take a look over here. This is just a secret with the old man. Eastmost Peninsula is a secret, or is the secret, rather. So we're going to ignore that, because that really doesn't matter. Alright, coming over here... We're gonna have a map, which is helpful. Now we can see the actual full map uh, of the dungeon. And going to the right will take you to the boss, obviously, but what you're gonna wanna do is go up first. Because if I'm not mistaken, there's gonna be something we, there's the key. Give me that, give me, give me. Uh, my sword can't collect keys, real? What kind of dumb shit is that? All right, I got that heart, didn't need it, but you know, whatever. You know what they say, the more the merrier. All right, these guys, these guys are actually attracted to the, uh, the, the meat, so I'm gonna show that off, what happens when we drop that, when we drop that base. They, uh, get attracted to it, and they just go stick over there next to it, and then it makes it easier for you to kill them. Uh, you could stay away from them, because they do throw those boomerangs and just shoot them with your sword beam, because they just kind of pile on next to it. Right, that guy's gonna come over here. Ah! Oh well, whatever. Taking a shot's not gonna be too difficult, especially since I got this tunic. And in here we have the bow. Not the bow and arrows, because we don't actually get arrows with the bow, which is, you know, stupid, but we do get the bow. It's there when we need it. We could have actually bought arrows before coming in here for like $80. But, uh, you can't use the bow and... You can't use the arrows without the bow. You can't use the bow without the arrows. So that's that. And that's all I'm gonna say about that. <laughs> but, now we can actually move on to the enemy, or the boss. Which is actually something cool when you get really close to the boss that I never actually picked up on. Uh, the last time I played this, so... I've only beaten this game once. <laughs> so this is gonna be a fun let's play once it gets to the hard parts of the game, because I probably will die. Killing these guys will get you... That's not what I wanted to do. I thought it gave me the item already. Gives you the boomerang. A really helpful item. Love the boomerang. It stuns enemies in place. 
Although some enemies will not be stunned in place. There's a key. This guy is a wall master that you can kill. And with the white sword, you can actually kill him in one shot. They drop a lot of rupees if that's your game, but, you know, the wall master's kind of a douche. So, alright, but if you have your sword beam, you're supposed to stay back here and shoot your sword beam at, at him. With this big magic shield, we can block his magic attack, so we, if, if you're not attacking, you'll actually block his, his uh, fireballs. And, you know, he's made really easy once you power up Link before actually going into the first dungeon, so... I mean, you know, whatever. We got the first piece of the Triforce. And that'll do it. We, we've we got our first piece of the triangle. We're actually putting together the Triforce of Wisdom. Uh, Ganondorf has the Triforce of Power right now. Uh, so we're building the Triforce of Wisdom to give to Zelda. So that's what this is. This is at, We don't actually have the Triforce of Courage at all at this point in time, so, uh, yeah, just clearing that up right now, that's part of the story, we're building the, the, the Triforce of Wisdom so we can give it to Zelda, and whatnot, but, you know, the story will come as it comes, but, that's all the time we have for this episode, we did a dungeon, hooray! <laughs> a hero's work is never done, join me again next time as we continue to tackle The Legend of Zelda. Later days, everybody!